Our vision for the museum is founded on two things. First, the overwhelming importance of the American Revolution. You've heard so much about it. And second, the necessity of teaching it. Thanks to the revolution, our nation is indeed founded on some of the loftiest political concepts ever expressed. But every generation must learn and uphold those concepts for the American nation to thrive. This is our mission. Philadelphia was the headquarters of the revolution. It's a city where the colonial delegates came and met, where they made their most important decisions, and it became the seat of American authority. It was a pivotal city that was fought over, lost, and then retaken. So we are very privileged that the National Park Service agreed to give up ownership of a portion of Independence National Historical Park just for this museum. Because this location is encircled with history. Benjamin Franklin lived across the street in that direction. The First Continental Congress met behind this building half a block away, while City Tavern anchors the other side. Thomas Paine's Common Sense was published in a printer's shop a half a block behind me, and Washington's army marched down Chestnut Street just behind us, as did the British Army. To honor this historic location, we selected Robert A. M. Stern to design the museum's building with strict instructions that it should enrich the heritage of this location and still provide for a premier national museum. And I'd like to share that concept with you. The design he developed reflects the sense of classical dignity of the era. It will also enliven the neighborhood with striking views into the building and with activity that spills out on its welcoming plaza and along these beautiful streets. It will be home, it will be at home in this historic neighborhood. Robert Stern is with us and I'm delighted to recognize him today and thank him for his genius. And also with us is William Shorts, co-founder of InTech Construction, the Philadelphia born and reared construction firm that we selected to build this beautiful museum. Will, thank you. Now let me take you inside the museum for a brief sampling of the learning that awaits the nearly two million visitors who come to Philadelphia every year. A powerful, inspiring movie will give an overview of the revolution and its world-changing impact. The core exhibits are on the second floor, and they'll provide two experiences. First, a chronological exploration of the revolution from its causes to its conclusion, and second, the iconic object of General Washington's headquarters tent. Visitors will be plunged into events, starting with a dramatic environment that pulls them into the outraged crowd in New York City who tore down the statue of King George III after hearing for the first time the words of the Declaration of Independence. That will be contrasted with a time just 15 years before when all of America celebrated the coronation of that same king. The exhibits will use digital technology to animate and illustrate the balance of power in North America. You will experience entire environments, stepping under that liberty tree that the governor spoke about so eloquently, where the sons of liberty first gathered. Here, under the lanterns at night, a new American concept of liberty emerged, one founded on the novel idea that the American people should have a voice in their own future. And this ta challenged not just British authority, but entrenched ideas of slavery and aristocracy. Yet these ideas could not be stopped, resulting in the first battles in Lexington and Concord, and an intercolonial debate that led to the fateful vote on July 4, 1776, here in Philadelphia's State House to approve the Declaration of Independence. And you will stand in the presence of a first printing of the Declaration. You'll also join an Oneida Council House and hear the meeting that determined that the Oneida Nation would ally with the American cause. Period maps will come to life and summarize in minutes 
the campaigns, the struggles, the defeats, and the victories of eight years of warfare that claimed 2% of our population as casualties. You'll also gain an understanding of the weapons of war by standing in their presence. And you will experience, through special effects, the terrifying sensation of standing on the front line of battle. You'll learn the incredible hardship and privation endured by the men at Valley Forge. Visitors will discover that victory was not inevitable. Perhaps never was it more at risk than when soldiers shivered and died at Valley Forge and Independence Hall was reduced to a prison for captured American soldiers. You'll also board a privateer and you'll join volunteers like James Fortin, a 16-year-old free African-American who went to sea to challenge the mighty British Navy. You'll also explore the deadly battles in the South where victory was finally achieved at Yorktown in Virginia. And you'll learn the legacy of the revolution, the creation of the US Constitution that realized its promise. You'll also learn about the subsequent lives of those who achieved the revolution and the impact of their achievement that has inspired not only every generation of Americans, but people around the world. And that great treasure of our collection, Washington's Tent, will be presented in a special theater, enabling us to show how it was used in the field. Hillier learned through maps and, mo and um, animation about Washington, his unwavering determination to win, represented through the modest tent in which he lived and worked, staying with his, the army he created through eight years of unrelenting effort. Washington not only won victory, but the loyalty and trust of every American, and continues to this day to define leadership and integrity for every American leader. This long overdue museum will at last present the entire story of the American Revolution and bring that story to its natural home, Philadelphia. Our hope is that Reverend Burke, who planted that seed over a century ago, would be pleased with the growth of his idea as it has matured from seed into sapling. And we hope that you can see why we are so passionate about the vision of the museum and its importance for Philadelphia and Pennsylvania. Thank you very much.